So now it appears I am faced with a choice. Which other kindred do I want to be part of a coterie with me? We have recommendations from Sophie, but also just my own pick of the litter, it appears. Uh, I'm somewhat conflicted. I like all of them. Who do, you, who do you think is the... Probably the first person you go to is probably, like... Because you, you don't want to run out of people. Yeah. So I definitely want Hope. Okay. <laughs> I think that would be super fun. Um, and Sophie suggested you meet Hope, a reclusive member of the Mount Caving clan. She's supposedly holed up in an internet cafe in Lower Manhattan. Yeah, that sounds dope. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like I also want the Nosferatu. D'Angelo. Yeah, because I, Sophie said like that would be a good thing. That keeps you kind of in a positive sway. With the Camarilla, like, it, it, it doesn't look like some kind of illicit gathering that they need to kind of strike down in their infancy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So okay. I feel like if I if I have one unconventional pick, like Hope, um, where the Camarilla is kind of like side-eyeing, like, well, you want to hang out with that one, then having a Nosferatu who's a bit more on the straight and narrow um, and also a bit more practical, like, you know, a detective. Um, I feel like, yeah. All right, so who do we want to start with first? Um, I mean, you might visit all of these people anyway. So let's just go for the first yeah, one that you want to Yeah, I want to go hope, hope. Hope. All yeah, right. Yeah. It's a quiet, moody internet cafe. Half of its space serves as a comfy coffee bar these days, but behind a glass wall, it still has a space dedicated to rows of PCs. From the street, I can notice tired adults in casual clothes, typing away absent-mindedly, and some bored kids wasting the late evening hours on colourful online games. Fortnite! <laughs> I mean, no, it's Fall Guys now. I, I used to be with it, and then they changed what it was. <laughs> it's Fall Guys. <laughs> if Sophie's intel is to be believed, this is where Hope has set up her haven. One of the waiters is standing outside the building, gazing at the sky with a smartphone in one hand and a vape pen in the other. I approach the man and tell him... I'm here on official business. No. No. Uh, I'm looking for hope. He releases a soft chuckle. <laughs> yeah. You and me both. The man slowly takes a drag from his e-cig, sizing me up and down in silence. After a long, awkward moment when I'm ready to leave him be, he raises his voice again. Come this way. <laughs> Come right this way. I was having a sip of a drink <laughs> and then got caught off guard. Yeah, really threw you to the wolves yeah, on that one. Yeah, I he clicked through. <laughs> he heads back into the cafe and I follow his lead. When I make my way through the space with computers, no one averts their gaze from the spreadsheets, emails, Facebook profiles, or games of Fortnite. Hey, you called it. I did. <laughs> Edit. Full guys. <laughs> Whatever is current. It's a common sight. One I wouldn't have paid much attention to a few weeks ago, but now it seems so unnervingly quaint. Would they still be spending their time like this if they were immortal? Yes. The waiter unlocks an I unassuming would. door at the end of the room and lets me inside. Us two swiftly make our way through a labyrinth of sterile grey corridors, taking confusing twists and turns. Feels like I'm travelling into a different world, crossing one invisible portal after another. Eventually, we reach our destination. My guide motions me to enter a dark room with a lone source of pale light, a computer screen in the distance beckoning me to come closer. As I do, I hear the door shutting behind my back and a short chuckle echoing behind it. <laughs> Is this the place? Nothing else to do but sit on a chair in front of the computer. The monitor, the monitor it displays a modern chat application. A cursor is blinking in the user nickname entry field in the middle of the screen, obviously expecting me to input my handle. After brief consideration, I type in... A random string of characters. Yeah. Yeah. After QWERTY turns out to have to... <laughs> out to have been taken by someone else, I settle on QWERTY YOOP. QWERTY YOOP. <laughs> it works. After a few seconds, the chat window opens and messages start appearing on the screen in quick succession. Hostage executioner. Just to be clear, I don't have a wank rag. 
Cult of Loon. Oh, well, uh, yeah, look. This Whoa. Is oh, God, I'm so horny. Not sure why I have a need. Who cares? Oh, my God. Who literally cares? You and me both. Wait, who is Quirr to you? Was a second. Who Was anyone informed? No, no. I know it wasn't Jerry. Identify yourself. Do, we, do you want to read all of that? No, or? God. No? Okay. <laughs> Identify yourself within two minutes or get banned. The chat goes silent, everyone seemingly waiting for me to say something before proceeding. This must be a close-knit group. I better say something before they kick me out. I'm looking for Hope. Looking for Hope. Is she here? Who the fuck are you? This was meant to be a safe channel. Investigating what went wrong. How'd they even get in here? Stay calm. Yeah, sure. Oh, I can't read all this. Yeah, you're gonna regret, dumbass. All right, cool. It seems. Uh, yeah, sure. That's our Jerry. Can you get their location, Jerry? Oh, that's our Jerry. Gonna DM it to any anyone interested. Oh boy, now you're in trouble. Yeah, you're gonna regret, dumbass, the day you decided to spy on us. Um, can I get the chat under control? Look, in some games, there are powers that can go um, through technology. Certain, mm -hmm. certain clans have trouble with technology. Certain clans are, are good with it. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know if the ST will allow you to, uh, the storyteller will allow you to use your power <laughs> like this. Uh, I sure as shit wouldn't. The waiter brought me here? Okay. I mean, what are they going to do? I know squatting's a thing, but also I'm a vampire. The waiter brought me, brought me here? Yeah. Calm down. <laughs> Fuck off. That one guy brought me here. Doubtful. Thought this is where I can meet Hope. Yeah, I'm calling bullshit. Jerry, how are things on your end? Got the info. Nice. You wanna die, asshole? You will die. You will die. Fuck, quote you. Yep. Die. Yeah, liberal. Die. <laughs> wow. Sentenced to death for a shitty basic online handle. I'm literally on my way to kill you right now. Yeah, sorry to inform you, you're about to die. Rip, bitch. You're getting your throat slit right here, right now. Ugh. Uh, a split second after I read the message, I feel someone's arms tightening around my neck. The violent return to reality catches me off guard. What the fuck? A jolt of panic rushes through my brain, paralyzing me momentarily. You've come to the wrong chat room, motherfucker. A ridiculous whisper rings out next to my ear, and the grip under my head gets even tighter. I start struggling, but even with my newfound supernatural strength, I'm having trouble breaking out. This isn't a normal human I'm dealing with. Last words. <laughs> Your chat room sucks ass. <laughs> I want to do that one. You want to do that one? Please, Chris, let me live. <laughs> Your chat room sucks ass. Hey, that's just rude. But I still laughed. The hand holding my chin shifts its position slightly. Don't struggle or I will break your windpipe or my phone, which would end even worse for you. Sounds of a camera shutter and a light flashing. Did they just take some selfies with me? All right, <laughs> that's enough fun. I'm letting you go. We can have a talk. Don't do anything stupid, Miss Intruder. Pretty please. The mysterious assailant loosens their grip on me and gently pushes me away. I quickly turn to take a good look at them. Let me just finish this. Oh no, she's hot. <laughs> it's a pale blonde woman in her 20s, giving me slightly judgmental looks while rapidly tapping away at her phone screen. First, I notice her outrageous outfit, seemingly thrown together from random thrift store finds. Then, I take note of her tattoos, a sprawling tapestry of odd patterns and designs covering every visible part of her body. At first glance, it all seems aimless, but it has a consistent sense of style upon closer inspection. Ellen will be what the judge I? of that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Her eyes focus on me for a second. Gave you a scare, huh? Sorry, that's what you get for entering a lady's haven without her permission. And she's back to her phone. 
With her relatively small build, it's hard to believe I had trouble overpowering her physically. But then again, nothing is what it seems when it comes to the undead. And even compared to the vampires I've met so far, she comes off as an eccentric, curious presence. She shoots me another glance, noticing I'm still cautious of her. Cal <laughs> Calm yourself, girl. I won't, won't pull anything like this anymore. It was just a... Feel stupid saying it out loud. A vibe check. <laughs> vibe. Uh, vibe check. Dot, 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 dot. That one? Yeah. Vibe check. Yeah, I got a glimpse of your vibe on the internet in a dangerous situation. I'd say I've got a pretty good idea about who you really are. I'm Hope, by the way. If you're here, you've probably heard of me, so I went ahead and skipped the pleasantries. But come to think of it, I might have skipped too many of those. Her tattoo's a dope. Mm. Yeah, she fit definitely fits the description I was given by Sophie. Your chat room sucks ass was funny, so there's that. Unless you really meant it, in which case, hey, fuck you. Oh no, I did really mean it. <laughs> anyway, don't worry about the chat. It was all a game to us. No hard feelings, okay? I'll introduce you properly later. On the monitor, the chatter continues normally. My visit is like yesterday's news, no longer relevant to anything. But, uh, look, if we're going to talk about you, you should have something to say, too. What are you doing here? About time, she asked. Note to self, she really loves the sound of her own voice. <laughs> Me, Ellen Graham, <laughs> doing the voice of two characters speaking to each other. And the inner monologue of one of them. <laughs> I'm building a coterie. I'm looking for people to join my coterie. Coterie, been there, done that, not interested unless... She takes a closer look at me. Her eyes go wide. Wait, 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 <laughs> shit. Are you the new Langley plaything? Word seems to be getting around fast. Of course you are. It was obvious the second Langley got her hands on a new servant, she'd start building a network. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Your emissions tell me that could really come in handy when but Langley, that's a risky game. This kind of ambition attracts too much attention. Piss off. But then again, fucking Kara. Mm. Mm. She seems to be having a spirited argument with herself, only parts of it audible. Is it just me, or do her facial expressions and body language change a bit between one sentence and the other? Before I make certain it's not just my eyes playing tricks on me, she focuses half of her attention back on me. The other half, of course, is still obsessed with her smartphone. Listen, I'm not saying I'm not interested in, uh, cooperation. But before I make a decision, I need you to make sure you sort of understand me. And that I sort of understand you. And since I was planning to put on a show before you came here, I propose a little game. Hope ab absentmindedly spins her phone in her hand, considering how to put her thoughts into words. Then she approaches a switch on the wall and flicks it. Neon lights flare up, illuminating the room. I take a look around. The room is certainly unique. It looks like a butcher's room, repurposed to be a living space. The modern computer in front of me starkly contrasts the ominous industrial walls. At the back, there's an overwrought bed covered in velvet with meat hooks hanging above it. On top of the bed sheets, I notice what seems to be pieces of elaborate S&M equipment and a camera. Wait a minute. You want my help? Moderate my cam show. Cam show? My eyebrows twitch involuntarily. This is definitely not the kind of request I expected to hear tonight. She notices my confusion. Take it or leave it, buddy. You just became a kindred, but you want to become my partner in crime? Show me you can handle yourself while watching my back in my everyday environment. She's serious. The show starts in ten minutes. If you think yourself better than this, better walk out of the door right now. I won't hold a grudge. 
I've got better things to do. As if to prove it, she looks at something displayed on her phone and cracks a brief grin. Another reply typed down with absurd speed. Tap, 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 tap. Nine minutes. It's now or never. Show moderator. Risk of violating the masquerade? Hi. Content warnings? Oh, yes. So, do you take the job? Um, hmm. Fuck it, I'm in. She's crazy. There's one? Yeah. Why the hell not? Hope brightens up and her smile looks surprisingly sincere. Excellent. I promise you might find this interesting in more ways than one. All right, give me a second. She spends a minute setting up the computer I used before, then urges me to sit down. The explanation of the moderator's functionalities is simple. It boils down to ignoring anyone who doesn't disrupt the chat, banning anyone who does, and kicking anyone who's causing minor trouble. Five minutes later, she's already online, sitting on her bed in a provocative pose. It is a sex show, isn't it? Her voice, previously hushed, rings out with full force. How are you doing tonight, hopefuls? I peek at the chat. We're not worthy. <laughs> We're not worthy. <laughs> Angel. Hell yeah, time to fuck. Um, I think ignore. Yeah. You just call them out. Yeah, ignore. I'm tempted to try and out the kick and ban prompts as soon as possible, but obviously I won't punish someone for a little dirty talk. Thank you. Today's show is quite special. Please welcome our new moderator, Quirty Yu. Lumeo. <laughs> Who? Lumeo. Sorry for sentencing you, sentencing you to death earlier. <laughs> I'm reading it like that because it's bastardo. <laughs> oh, right, right. At least the community here seems to be a bit more welcoming this time. Looks like the place has an established hazing ritual. Or maybe they and Hope came up with one specifically for me, who knows. I decide to say, stay silent. Eventually people stop riffing on me and focus entirely on the star of the show. Alright, let's start this one with a bang, shall we? <laughs> it begins! Oh boy, she's gonna do it! So this is where the strip show starts? I raise my head, curious about what kind of performance she's going for. First, she opens her mouth and reveals her retractable fangs in front of the camera. Oh, right off the bat, the or or online audience is treated to a sight of her wholly human set of teeth turning into a monster's maw. The image is both revolting and fascinating. She raises her left wrist for everyone to see and then bites. The fangs immediately turn her arm into a horrifying, gory mess. It's unclear if she used them to slash or bite, but one thing for sure, no ordinary human could cause such damage. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. If an ordinary human suffered such a wound, I'd expect a ge ge geyser? Geyser. Geyser of blood to appear too, but it doesn't. Hope's technically a corpse, so it's impossible. She flashes a monstrous smile and starts smearing Vitae all over her hand to max maximize the impact of the violent image. Then she starts drinking it up. She makes it a point to make the sight as gruesome as possible, looking like a hyena feasting on a corpse. The contrast of her behavior with her look of an Instagram model is stunning. Once she's done, she reveals her wrist to the camera for the last time. She starts making theatrical gestures with her right hand as the wound begins to mend. Shortly after, the wound is gone. It's like a magician's trick. Her left hand looks like nothing bad ever happened to it. Here is an appetizer. First blood to kick off the show. While I'm wondering what the hell is going on, Hope catches a glimpse of my bewildered face and turns into my direction. How is that for an opening? This is not a sex show? That one? Yeah. This isn't a sex show. Sex? What? Were you counting on me getting naked in front of you or something? <laughs> Honey, we've just met each other. If you expected a strip show, yeah, sorry to disappoint. This is more like, uh, live-streamed digital art. The erotic subtext is there, of course. I peek at the chat. They're going wild. She did that! For free! 
<laughs> I'd love to lick your wrist clean, my fallen angel. Ha ha ha, yes. Nothing more arousing than a beautiful woman teetering on the edge of oblivion. A rose petal dancing in the eye of a violent hurricane. But eroticism is not the key here. It's vampirism. Oh my god. It's a new frontier, a living art installation. In the early 90s, the Japanese artists kept producing these videotapes with beautiful women committing gory harakiri. Those are an inspiration. She bears her fangs again in a devious grin. But I have no interest in auto-destruction or turning myself into a victim. This is a celebration of a body I love, not self-inflicted punishment. The audience came here to marvel at a beautiful vampire and her awe-inspiring powers. Mending wounds is just one of these powers. The people watching can pay to see more. Oh, and don't worry. The only things the audience can see and hear are the things I allow them to. We can talk freely. Just remember to moderate the chat, will ya? High risk of violating the masquerade. What a joke. She's blatantly breaching it in front of the anonymous viewers. Still speechless, I turn my attention to the screen. Moi guapa. Alright, I'm feeling generous today. Have you planned your next tattoo yet? I'll pay for the extraction. Looking like a pink marshmallow covered in a raspberry sauce. <laughs> First victim, just letting you know you're based. I know. Oh my god. Um. Ignore? No one said anything. Yeah, everyone's just horny. I let the guy vent his excitement. Seems harmless. A special message appears on the chat log claiming somebody has successfully sponsored the first goal of the show. Hope smiles and picks up a bad bag of blood from underneath the bed. It must have been retrieved from a blood bank. She showcases the label to the camera for everyone to see. Drink up, drink up, drink up, drink up. Hope pulls all the contents of the bag into her throat. I have no doubt it's real blood, but wonder why the viewers would be so satisfied with something that's so easy to fake. Don't worry, it pays well enough. I don't even bother to tell her this is not what I'm thinking about. Safe to assume she knows. So what do you know about the kindred and the internet? Have they told you anything? While she is waiting for someone to sponsor her next vampiric feat, she decides to start a conversation. Um... No, nothing. Well, makes sense. Not the first thing you'd teach to a, a fledgling. See, some of us used to experiment with our own secure networks. We tried to build our own information hubs, social networks, everything. She's still working the phone in one hand while looking for something under the bed with the other. On how many things she can concentrate at one time exactly? Then one day, the NSA got in. Turns out elders never really got the hang of proper security practices. Or the sigils they used to smear on their screens didn't exactly work as, work as advertised. Elders? A vampire who has experienced at least two or more centuries of online. Elders are the most active participants in the Jihad, the secret self-destructive war waged between the ancient undead. Elder vampires tend to manipulate their lesser kin, using them as pawns in a terrible game, the rules of which defy comprehension. Cool. Well, <laughs> then of course, all the other three-lettered intelligence agencies in the world got the intel, and a lot of them decided bloodsuckers were the new perfect enemy enemies for our per for our post 9/11 times. The second Inquisition came into being. Ever heard of it? No, but let's check the dictionary. Often abbreviated as SI, a collection a collective name among vampires for the recent collaborative efforts, a coordinated efforts of intelligent agencies to combat the kindred as if they were a terrorist threat. Few individual agencies understand what they are fighting and the intra-agency co uh, collaboration, codenamed First Light, places enormous import on keeping their operations secret and disguised as ordinary anti-terrorist action. Hmm. Uh, the second Inquisition is unique or is new to uh, this game 
I believe Bloodlines 2 will have it, and it's yeah. V5 has it. Okay. Previous games did not. Cool, cool. It's a new um, phenomenon. Yeah. Or okay. narrative beat. I love her hair. Maybe I should dye the ends of my hair black. Yeah, do it. Okay. Cosplay Hope. Yeah. Our Instagram page. I don't have that many tattoos. Yeah, but we can draw them on you. Mm. All right. A lot of our kind died because they were too present online. Right now, the remains of our old network serve as government honeypots kept alive to attract fledglings and hunt them down. You post a certain keyword on Twitter or Facebook, you get tagged for investigation. You fit certain patterns, you get tagged for investigation. So there is a certain thrill in becoming an online presence without attracting attention from the authorities. She stretches on the bed. I hope you are still monitoring the chat. Of course not. I'm not good at dividing my attention as she is. I correct my mistake and check the recent messages. Ah, is she talking to somebody? Can't wait for the real thing to start. This two monitors set up rule of drop deadness. <laughs> this two monitors set up rules. Call of Duty on this on one screen, drop dead hotness on the second. The only woman I don't hate. Hope more like my favorite ho. Uh, Sorry, I thought I saw something strange. Um, is it just like the names? No. Like the Thirst victims. I don't know how Jesse Hooker could know that she's talking to someone. She seemed to have that under control. But anyway. Um, but is it? She's literally talking to me right now. Yes. She just hasn't like got anyway audio. Yeah. Anyway. Um, probably might want to get rid of that person. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna do a kick and ban them. Um. Kick or ban? Uh, probably kick. Kick. Yeah. I give the guy a kick. Get myself an. Get yourself a normal nickname, douchebag. After 10 seconds, he's back with the same handle. Time for a decision. Ignore or ban. Ban him. Get out. This kind of nickname only suggests trouble. I get rid of them permanently. Good job. She's keeping close tabs on me. Anyway, yeah. When the Nosferatu invented to Camarilla their network got compromised, the elders went batshit insane. Internet communications became strictly forbidden. There were executions. A lot of people who used social media to secretly contact their mortal families and lovers got offed. That goes without saying. But if you weren't careful, even the most innocent web usage could result in being punished with final death. Thanks to user Dick Steele, the next goal has just gotten successfully funded. Thanks, Dick Steele. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Don't I go? Vanishing act. Dehumanize yourself and face to and face to bloodshed. She raises her hand. Three fingers up. Two fingers up. One finger up. The countdown ends, and she immediately disappears from the screen like a ghost. I can still see her on the bed, but the live feed indicates there's nobody there. When I deeply focus on the digital image, I swear I can make out some unusual glitching where her silhouette should be, but it could just very well be placebo. You ready for this? Three, two, one. A flash of the camera. The instant she reappears on the screen, she takes a selfie, sticking her tongue out in a provocative manner. The chat room explodes in cheers again. She is their vampire queen. I briefly wonder about her being glued to the screen. Is this the fantasy everyone is here for? A girl showing off cheap magic tricks while lazily browsing her social media? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, not me personally. But not uh, me personally either. But, you know, yes. I realize I'm way out of my depth here. Meanwhile, Hope decides to continue her lecture. Those were some wild times, especially in New York. While most of them have no clue as to our real nature, a lot of clandestine organizations has classified us as national threats. And since this is where the towers fell, the agencies are very much present around here, looking for easy PR victories. The last SI raid here was just a few years ago, and it was a big one. Stirred up the hornet's nest something fierce. But although it's 2019, New York City is ruled by someone who got embraced before World War fucking two, and the cam as a whole got really spooked and swore off the internet. Of course, they're not dumb, and understand that you can't really coexist with modern kind without the internet. But it's a gray zone right now, like piracy, technically frowned upon, but let the 
let the one in without sin cast the first stone. Just without. Let the one without sin cast the first stone. I was going for like, <laughs> I, th- oh, I think my right mind, my mind was just like, let the right one in. Yeah. Um, the SI is a real threat, no joke. But in many senses, the darkest place is right under the candle. I'll take another look at the screen. We want blood. How about some bad stuff? Can you do some bad stuff? <laughs> okay, that's me. <laughs> Can you show us next time? It's been a long, hard day. Please give me a shout out. <laughs> a familiar nickname pops up. Masochist Summer. Okay. Almost certain. Kick. Kick. Yeah. Kicking. Or ban. Banning? Yeah, because they'll come back if it's bad, right? Mm. Uh, ba- ban, ban. Is he hitting his keyboard with his head or something? All right, be gone. <laughs> well, that was, oh, okay. Well, that was overzealous. Please, please, please don't terrorize my viewers, will you? Okay. The chat is ridiculing me again. That wasn't the best choice, but let's hope I can bounce back from that. Oh yeah, fun fact about being a vampire, we can sweat and pee if we just exert ourselves really hard. Some of us can even orgasm. We can even cry, but only tears of blood. It's something I always dreamed of doing when I was 14. So romantic, and it drives them crazy. As proof of her words, a scarlet tear starts running down her face. The chat goes wild. This seems to be exactly the kind of thing they've been waiting for. Ah, an angel that fell down from heaven. Uh, crying face. Oh my gosh, she did it again. Can you imagine? I hope your tortured soul finds someone calm, some calm eventually. Can you imagine USA assembling a blood-sucking squad that would just cruise by the border and suck blood out of any illegal they found? The very thought gives me the biggest boner. I gotta get the fuck on the band. I got bad. Kick him up. Kick, 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 yeah. And kick. Just to be clear, you realize what we're doing here is a blatant breach of the masquerade, right? I honestly expected you to leave or inform somebody, buddy, now, but you haven't, have you? I try to focus on the chat. What would you, would you do that if you had the option to? Be a vampire cam girl? No, no. Dob Hobin. No. I fucking would. What? Easy, easy brownie points in the Camarilla. Oh, you're such a brown nose. <laughs> I'm such a venture. <laughs> I'm very much like snitches get stitches. Yeah, like, and she's snitching to the kind. If it's not bothering me, like me specifically, it's not my problem. I'm not a sheriff. It's not my job to, you know, dob anyone in. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> in oh, any case. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if that's like the Italian in me speaking. Where it's like, we don't do that, all right? Yeah, I think it's the British in me doing the opposite. <laughs> uh, did you say yes, sorry, in any case. Yeah, in any case. The last goal has just been funded. It's time for the great finale. This is what you've all been waiting for, right? Yes, queen. Yes, yes, queen. Her voice has changed. She gets closer to the camera, letting her face fill the frame of the live feed. Her mesmerizing eyes are focused purely on the viewers. You wanted blood? Come out into the streets, claw out your neighbors' throats, slash their veins, and drink up. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Hope's, present become, Hope's presence becomes absolutely horrifying, and it influences the chat in some incomprehensible way. Everyone starts typing like they are possessed. Liberate yourselves from the shackles of ordinary mortality. Make them scream. Feel the warmth of their entrails. What the hell is she doing to those people? What the fuck have I got myself into? Transcend your bodies. Release the message of hope into the world. She jerks violently for a second and then falls down on the bed like a marionette that has just had its string severed. She exhales, she exhales loudly a, fu- a few times and laughs. When she does, the room goes dark again. All right, that's enough. 
Instead of continuing, she does something with her phone. The stream ends and the chat instantly becomes dead quiet. Let me take over. The atmosphere in the room has completely changed. She's already put herself together and stood up. Now she's walking towards me. What the fuck just happened? Guess the show is over. Everyone relax and go home. Ah, I was almost ready to come, bros. Feel your hostage execution. <laughs> <laughs> feel, feel you. Just gonna let my bros know. Just gotta let you know, bros. Hostage, know. I swear on my father's grave, one day I'll find you and kick the ever living shit out of you. I'm here with Cult of Luna. <laughs> <laughs> After every line she delivers, she changes her voice, the way she puts her lips together, and even the way she moves. I caught glimpses of her acting this way, but only now have I started to figure it out. It's her. This. I haven't put it. I haven't figured it out. But, but but I'm assuming the game will fill in the blanks. What would you like to say? Um, is it all her? The chat's all her. So what would you like to say? But it's impossible. But that's impossible. I'm immortal. I'm bored. I'm separated from most vampires in this city by a generational chasm, and I'm so goddamn lonely. The internet used to be my only friend. Years ago, I started researching tulpas, collective unconsciousness, and all the mumbo-jumbo at the intersection of psychology and spirituality, and I decided to experiment. The show was fake. A few years later, I was an Instagram fashionista, a successful erotic model, a vital part of pop culture commentariat, a viral shit poster, a cryptocurrency expert. All of my internet selves started signal boosting each other, paving the way for new ones. I became a one woman empire surrounded by legions of psycho fans. The chat was fake. Some may think of it as dissociative identity disorder, but that's bullshit. Everyone has online alter egos they buried. I just resurrected them, gave birth to new ones, and let them crossbreed. The constant tapping of the phone, even during the show. Somehow she's capable of impersonating an entire chat room. I don't even have a self that could dissociate or be mentally ill. I'm a host, a living database. I live because I find it fun to be an information conduit, to process trends and support the ones I deem worthy. There was no masquerade violation. She was showing off her skills all along. She put me in a world of pure fiction, the same way she was testing me back when she attacked me. Testing me, uh, whatever, yeah. Testing you back, back when she attacked you from the back. Yeah, I don't like From it. behind. Yeah. Um, Damn, she's good at this. Well, I would have failed the test. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have said in the chat? No, I would have, I would have fucking, I would have dubbed her in for a masquerade breach. Uh. Then it would have been like she's like, I just used powers on him, and then I would have gone, oh well, I swear off talking to <laughs> Malkavians ever again. <laughs> Venture Bros, help me out. <laughs> of course, you can just ignore what I'm saying and decide I'm just another deranged Malkavian. But hey, annihilation of the self is the only way to survive in the 21st century. <laughs> if there was ever an era that demanded images of beautiful people transcending beyond humanity and inspiring others to do the same, it's this one. Did you like my A robot, robot French? French. <laughs> Although for now, because masquerade, my audience is quite limited. Speaking of, you want to be the star of my next movie? I, I don't know what mermaids sound like. Fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. Sounds dope. Sure, why not? Yeah. I'm all down this rabbit hole. Put me the fuck in, Hope. I have a hunch you're just saying that, but still, hey, in a way, this too is transcending beyond self. But yeah, your test is over. Now the question is, do I want to work with you? She put. Did you like that one as well? I did. Very, <laughs> very uh, thespian. Liz, yeah. She puts away her phone for the first time since I've met her and gives me a good, hard look. <laughs> Guess I can give it a shot. Yeah. You're not that dumb. You're not that boring, and you're kind of cute. 
Don't worry, no more modeling, modding jobs. Mods get attached, and that's always bad news. She gaps, grabs my arm and starts leading me out of the room. I've put you through enough shit. Next time I'll let you in on a little job I'm doing. We'll hit the streets and you'll let and you'll see why Sophie told you to contact me. I ran out of voices. Uh. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> she then leads me through a labyrinth of grey corridors. It's a different route than the one I made on my way in. This city is so much more than what it, its elites consider real. Stick with me and I'll guide you to places Camarilla elders couldn't reach in a hundred years. She leads me out of the building into the back alleys. Even if someone else rules the streets, we will rule the information highways. This is the power of hope. She lets out a theatrical laugh and disappears. <laughs> I don't even notice when she leaves me alone, but I assume everything went as well as it could. A new ally, the power of hope. Power of hope. Sorry. As you walk into the night, everything around me feels a little less tangible than it did a few hours ago. Well, well, fuck me, I guess. All right, everyone. That was <laughs> the power of hope. We had a time. We had a time. And mm. now we have a new part of the coterie. We do. But it, takes, it seems. It takes more than two to co 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 ter 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 uh, It doesn't, actually. <laughs> but um, it can. So let's go find another. Yes. Now? On the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that's where we were Oh, going. um, if you've stuck with us this long into the episode, you'll know that, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but we are going to be playing um, Shadows of New York, the new game that's coming out um, mm. at time of recording next week, by the time you're watching this, uh, probably like in a couple of days. Yeah. Um, so we'll finish Coteries of New York, and then we'll be playing Shadows of New York, and I will be in the leading, the driving position, doing oh. the main voice, even though I believe it's a woman. Because it's a La Sombra, my favorite clan. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, bye. Bye, bye, everyone. <laughs> Look forward to that. Good night. <laughs>